Today I am doing a, re a short review and tutorial using the Dior Spring Collection, the Trio Non Collection. I recently picked up two items from the collection. Unfortunately, I didn't um, get any of the eye, eye colors or the lip gloss, but I did get a blush and a lipstick. So I thought I would uh, do my best to recreate uh, Dior's uh, Trianon Spring Makeup look and I hope you enjoy it. The Trianon um, Spring Collection was inspired by Marie Antoinette and Petit Trianon at Versailles. Um, I absolutely love Versailles, I love Marie Antoinette. Um, I think everything is so pretty and fresh. Um, everything's inspired by sort of the colors of macaroons and bows and all those like really girly opulent sort of uh, aspects to Versailles. Um, the two items that I purchased um, was the Dior blush um, which comes in a little velvet um, pouch as they tend to do. It looks like this in like the sort of traditional dual packaging. Inside um, it looks like this and you can see um, it has this beautiful fontange um, bow and it says Dior. The color that I got is um, called Coral Bagatelle which is number 763 and they also have one in more of a cool toned pink. This is a sort of light coral pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it comes with this brush, sort of an angled brush, which is actually, I have used it and it applies the blush relatively well. So if you want to keep it in the compact, use it when you're on the go and not have to carry a blush brush around with you, then that's really useful. This, the, the quality of this blush is absolutely amazing. It is, um, it looks very bright in the compact, but um, it's quite sheer when you apply it. It's buildable, it blends beautifully. Um, it just looks so natural and fresh, I think. Um, and I've found it last the whole day. Like I went um, to Silvermine, which is a nature reserve. It was drizzling, it was windy. Um, it actually it rained on my face and this blush stayed put the whole day by about 6 p.m. that evening um, I could still see it on my cheeks so it's really long-lasting and um, this compact uh, was 480 so the price is comparable to the Chanel blushes the other item that I got from the spring collection is the Rouge Dior number 531 um, rose crinoline. This uh, of the I think they've got four lipsticks in the spring collection, and rose crinoline was the one that I thought was really the prettiest. Um, it looks pretty peach. I don't know if you can see it's embossed with Dior. The lighting is not that great today. Um, it looks peach, but. Um, on my lips it's quite pink and it doesn't have quite as much orange tones to it as like the Chanel Pimpant that I love, that very light um, pastel peach color. So this definitely has a lot more pink in it that stops it from being too orange um, and it goes absolutely perfectly with um, the blush Coral Bagatelle. They just look beautiful together. Anyway, I am going to recreate the Dior Spring Trianon makeup look um, quickly using as many Dior products that I have um, and some other bits thrown in um, and show you how I achieved the makeup that I'm wearing today. First I'm going to use the Dior Skin Nude BB Cream in shade 2. I decided to use as many Dior products as possible. Um, I don't own a lot of them. Um, and this is the only uh, sort of face product that I have from Dior. So obviously I wanted to keep it as Dior as possible, but obviously not everything is going to be Dior. I'm going to, for a change, use the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush.
going to use a tiny, tiny bit of Benefit Erase Paste um, just on the inner corners of my eyes. This has sort of a peach, peachy sort of color. So it works really well brightening your, um, if you've got sort of shadows in the inner corners of your eyes. I don't really get dark circles under my eyes, but I do get sort of shadows just in this area. Then I'm going to quickly do a little bit of brightening with the Clarins Instant Light Perfecting uh, Brush On Perfector, which is basically sort of a, um, a highlighter pen, highlighting concealer, whatever you want to call it, just under my eyes. basically just going to prep my eyes and my lips. Um, I apply the Urban Decay Primer Potion to my lids and just give that a minute or so to dry. I just find this works so well at keeping my shadow intact the whole day. And then um, for my lips, I'm just going to prep them and make sure that they don't have any dry or flaky bits by using um, a little bit of the Dior um, Balm de Rose, which is basically this lovely rose scented lip balm. So I've slightly filled in my brows using the Smashbox Brow Tech to go in taupe. It looks like that. Um, and because I didn't buy any of the eyeshadows that came with the Dior Spring Collection, uh, there's a beautiful quad with sort of pastel pinks and blues, and then there's a few monofusion eyeshadow, um, single eyeshadows as well. Um, I didn't get any of the eye products, so I'm just going to sort of. Um, use what I've got um, and create my own look but keeping it sort of in a similar vein. I'm going to start with this shade from the Urban Decay Naked palette. It is called Sin and um, it's a very very pale pink, uh, frosted pink. I don't know if you could even consider it a pink. It's sort of like a nude frosted color. And I'm just going to do that on my lid, including the inner corner. Dior does have a step-by-step -step tutorial on their website of how to achieve the Trianon uh, spring look. Um, so I had a look at that and they also use like a very pale silver shade um, and I've got something similar in my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette which is this one and it's called uh, Verve which they used a pale blue shadow um, right up to the brow bone nearly in their tutorial I'm just replacing it with a, a silver going to use this shade um, from the Naked palette called Naked, which is like an absolutely nude matte. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit of it in the crease. online tutorial they used uh, the matte black mono fusion eyeshadow as a liner so I'm just going to use this um, matte black color from the Naked 2 palette and um, just to line my eyes Lastly, I'm going to just finish off my eyes using the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. Um, 
This is probably my all-time favorite mascara. Um, unfortunately, mine is nearly completely dried out. It's got sort of a curved wand. Um, this is really on its last legs, unfortunately. I was actually going to throw it out and then I just put it in a drawer and then I thought, oh, I'll better use it for this tutorial. This just gives amazing curl and volume and everything to your lashes without being too wet and gloopy. Now that my eyes are done, I'm going to move on to blush. Um, the blush that I chose from the Trianon collection um, is Coral Bagatelle, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to use the Real Techniques blush brush to apply it. This blush looks quite bright and corally in the compact, but when you apply it um, it applies sheer and then you can build it up so you don't get this really bright. And lastly, tulips. The color that the dual used in their tutorial and that I purchased is called um, Rose Crinoline. It's a Rouge Dior number 531, which looks like this. It is a beautiful peachy pink 